guys, it's Jasmine here and welcome back to my channel. Um, I went to Ulta and I know I should not be spending more money, but I did. And um, I've always wanted like a white liner, so I got it. And this one is from NYX. And so I'm going to be doing a look inspired by this liner and I'm going to just maybe do like put this in the correct crease or maybe make um this my my actual wing liner so we'll see so if you guys want to see this wing liner tutorial then keep on watching <sighs> i just had a breath i don't know why that put me out of breath and the eyebrows are done like usual mm, and i feel like i want to do like a pink look match with my shirt you know um so i'm gonna be using this palette right here okay and i might go into other palettes too just depends on my mood and what i want to do and so I'm going to take, I'm going to take this color right here. And this color is going to go in my crease. And I almost put this on my brow bone, but like just slightly under it. And this is going to help like blend the rest of the colors together. Now I'm going to take this reddish pinkish color right there. I'm just going to put that in my crease, but a little bit lower than the one that we just Put down and this is gonna just add dimension all right now I'm gonna switch brushes and this I'm gonna be using the morphe R, or morphe m433 and I'm going to be taking this color right here and it's basically just a darker version of the one that we just took I'm gonna be putting this one on the outer corner of my lid. Now I'm going to take this color and put this on the, more in my crease, but not as much on the outer corner because it's going to be a cut crease today. And I'm just going to take the um, some of the pinkish colors that we did on the crease and just use that to blend the brown into the eye look today. And I'm going to be taking a little, like a pinch of the black, like a pinch, not that much. And I'm going to be putting that on my brush and put that in my crease. Fool me, we can't get fooled again. And I'm also winging these shadows out just to, you know, make a more cat eye, or not cat eye effect, but just elongate the eyelid. Now, using the uh, um, NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer, I'm going to be cutting up my crease today. Oh, and make sure to wing out the cut crease. Now, to set this, I'm going to be taking... I'm going to be taking the light color that we used earlier in our crease. All right, and I'm, uh, I'm going to do the other eye like this, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I did this. I'm liking how it looks so far. I'm going to be doing some black liner first, and just regular wing liner, and then we'll get into the white liner. Well, it's definitely an off day for liner. Yeah. But it's okay, we're gonna roll with it. All right, I think uh, that's as good as they're gonna get. All right, now for the white eyeliner. Now, I don't know if I wanna put it in the crease or over top. I think I'm gonna do it, Um, make a really tiny line right on top of the um, black liner that we just put down. And just 
Pray for me. Yo, we made this record. You definitely have to have a steady hand with this. So be and be patient. Okay, it's getting on my lashes, which is really annoying. But I'm actually proud of myself. Like this is the first time I've ever ever done this, and I'm proud. What goes around comes back around. Oh, oh my baby, what goes around comes back around. Oh, oh my baby. You don't know how proud I am of myself right now. Like this looks so good. I definitely recommend this liner. It's pretty. It's really pretty, and it was easy to work with. And I'm a beginner at this, so if it's easy to work with with me, it's easy to work with with you. And I want to add a little bit more red into this, and so I'm going to take this color and put that on my crease, trying to not disturb the cut crease that I did. Just want it to be more fiery. And yeah, that gave it its fire. Now, and I also got more lashes, so I'm thinking about doing these wispies, wispy 600s. These are the one, ones at the bottoms, and they're by Ardell. And I'm gonna go put these on, if I can get it open. I don't know what I feel about these lashes yet. They're very, they're different than I would usually wear, because I usually wear the um, double wispies, and so they're very dramatic, and these ones are more natural, but they're not bad. Yeah, these lashes are okay. I feel like they would look better without, with like, a less dramatic look. I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Putting that on my nose. And then on my forehead. And this is a little dark spot from a pimple. It looks like dirt, but it's not. I promise. Now on to foundation. I'm using the Fit Me con um, foundation, and I barely use uh, like I barely use any of this foundation. Like that's all I need. And guys, this brush is so good. The Morphe Y6 brush. There's an old it is the best brush for foundation and concealer. All right, now I'm going to be doing. Some contouring and concealing today, and uh, I don't know what shade I use, I'm gonna use, but I got this new um, contour palette, and it's really dark, and I'm so happy. Like I can never find anything that contours me, but I'm gonna go in with the darker one first. Hopefully, it's not too dark. All right, and I don't know why I'm doing this before concealer. I just got all excited. And started putting this on my face, so... Alright, now on for concealer. Taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm gonna use a, the same brush that I used to do my foundation. And I'm loving this contour so much, oh my god. I get this powder everywhere. It's the um uh the airspun powder. Okay, I forgot to set my my contour, so I'm gonna be using the Fit Me powder. And I just realized I'm using like all Fit Me products today. I didn't even try to do that. Also, a highlighter shade in here, so I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna just put it on my finger, put a lot on. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm, this is pretty. Put some on my nose. Oh. Okay, I did not mean to do that. Um. I remember when I first started YouTube, I had a huge um, popping highlight every single video. I love that. 
And I'm gonna do it again, why not? All right, and just to set that highlight, I'm just going to be taking this one by Milani. Alright, oh my gosh, I didn't even put blush on. I'm going to take this Tarte blush and party. Oh, we need to finish off the eyes. Almost forgot to do that. I'm just going to be taking some of the pink shades we used earlier and just mixing them together to put underneath my eye. Okay, and then I'm going to take the dark brown we used in the crease and I'm going to pack this closer to my lash line. Alright, and I'm just going to put some mascara underneath my eyes. And then, to finish off with the eyes, we're almost done. Ooh, I don't know which one to choose. I'm going to take this one on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm so mad. I was um, doing my makeup at the school and I, for a cheer, and I literally put my whole finger in the eyeshadow. I was so mad. Let's finish off with some setting spray. Alright, I'm using my regular lipstick that I use in like literally every single video. Sorry, I just love this so much. The Mil Milani Lipstick in Matte Beauty. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys know and um, how to use this and help you and like I hope you lost for words. I hope this expi inspired you to uh, try out wing liner or white wing liner and just make this beautiful, beautiful look on my face today or something else like this. If you guys want to follow me on social media, um, it will be linked down below. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I need to go. Goodbye. Bye!